The Orion was a passenger paddle steamer cruising to Port Patrick from Liverpool with 57 crew and a total of 320 passengers, many of whom were travelling to Glasgow to emigrate to the Americas. It was the 18th of June, 1850, and a beautiful, calm, clear summer night as the Orion approached Port Patrick. The captain and the first mate had already retired to bed for the night, leaving the second mate in charge. Passengers were on deck enjoying the warm night and the star-filled sky, but their enjoyment was interrupted by a slight bump as the Orion was making its way towards the harbour. It may have seemed like nothing to them, but it most certainly was not. The second mate had steered the Orion too close to the shore and the bump was the ship hitting Barnoch Rock. And though the collision seemed slight, it had opened a huge gash in the ship's hull below the waterline. Even as she rebounded from the rock, she was already beginning to sink. Passengers who had been asleep in their cabins were awoken by the roaring sound of water flooding into the ship and they fled for the deck in panic, some not even bothering to dress. A lifeboat was lowered, but it was sunk in the stampede to get on board. A second boat was lowered, but such was the rush that someone had forgotten to check the bung on the boat. And it was sheer luck and the fact the Orion was so close to shore that it got away. It took only 10 minutes for the Orion to sink completely after being struck. 10 minutes of utter pandemonium. Many people were forced to swim for shore, but a distressing number of people didn't get time to evacuate the ship at all. Captain McKenchney of Greenock saved himself and his wife and two others by using a skylight from the ship as a raft. Another man survived by standing on one of the lifeboats that remained attached to the sunken ship. One steward, with £100 in his pocket of passage money he'd collected from passengers, managed to make it to shore with the money, but the incredible effort cost him his life as he then died of exhaustion. Passengers unable to swim survived by clinging to the ship's rigging where it was protruding from the waves and wait for rescue. But not all of them were strong enough to cling on and slip beneath the waves before that rescue came. The people of Port Patrick opened their doors to the survivors, giving them shelter and aid. Later, a fund of £200 was raised for them in Glasgow to thank them. It was split between the town's residents. The captain and the second mate were arrested and tried at the High Court in Edinburgh for their part in the sinking. The captain was found guilty of culpable neglect of duty and was sentenced to 18 months in prison, which he served in Perth Penitentiary. The second mate was found guilty of culpable reckless neglect of duty and was sentenced to seven years deportation to Australia. The wreck of the Orion was eventually broken up and sold for salvage. All in all, 60 people lost their lives on that warm summer night. <laughs>